Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing phenomenal because I'm not. Um, I am literally stressed about this video because of how much I'm gonna have to talk. Um, like my throat is aching already, but we're gonna get through this. So uh, once I showed you my 20, I think, designer fragrances for life, you guys asked me to do a niche version and also a Arabic scent version. So this is the niche one. And it's actually the worst, the worst, it's the hardest. At first I thought I would only have 10 to show you. Then I thought, no, it's impossible. Then I was like, okay, 20, okay, 20 is fine. No, it wasn't. And now I'm somewhere at 30-ish. It's bad, okay, it's bad. I have no idea. I love those niche fragrances so much. And like, don't get me wrong, these are not just the ones I like. No, these are the ones that I cannot live without. Like, I cannot, I cannot. If I broke it, if someone stole it, I don't know what could happen, but I would not have it. I would run and purchase, run. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I'm not gonna review them too much. I'm literally gonna say three words, that's it. Okay, so if you want a specific in-depth review, you can always type a name of the fragrance and, you know, on my channel it will pop up. So do that if you want to hear more about it, you know, of what you're interested in. But we're going to get through this. The second thing is, of course, there are so many fragrances that I'm so in love with at the moment, but I only have samples of them. Uh, so that's cheating, right? I cannot showcase them to you here. These are literally the ones that I have owned for a while and I'm obsessed. Also, actually, there's, I'm sorry, there's something on my nose and I cannot get it off. I think it's some kind of a fluff. Oh, so annoying, but it's also cheating if I include my sense here, right? But I just want to quickly show you that if I could only have two fragrances in my life, it would be my fragrances with Navitus. First one is Venom of Love from Navitus, obviously, and me, and Sidonie, the perfumer. Um, and that would be my ultimate cherry, almondy fragrance with amber wood. So it, it gives me both gourmand, it gives me a lost cherry vibe from Tom Ford, and it gives me Middle Eastern touches in the base. So I love it. It's cherry, it's dark chocolate, it's liquor, it's vanilla, it's almond cream and almonds and rose and jasmine is just everything you might think of when you think of love. <laughs> so yeah, I love it. I love Venom of Love. You can get it on Navitus website with my discount. And of course, the other fragrance I've created with Navitus is Kind Intentions, which has the most beautiful bottle that ever existed, let's be honest. And uh, this has been created with me and Jérôme de Marino. And this one is the perfect sweet slash fresh scent that's super unique for spring and summer. Um, absolutely gorgeous, super long lasting with the best projection ever because Venom of Love does last ages but it's not as projecting whereas this both projects and lasts which is just phenomenal. So these are the two fragrances that I kind of have to show you because we are in niche department but since I've created them myself I don't know if it's right or wrong to show them. These are honorable mentions all right. So yeah Kind Intentions and Venom both are absolutely divine so different this is dark and sexy this is effortless and nostalgic so yeah these two are my babies obviously uh, now officially to start this list i'm gonna actually start with navitus and i didn't think i'm gonna love this fragrance so much but i truly crave it and i don't want to be without it i don't uh, ambrosia imperiale collaboration with uh, AI the Great here on YouTube. This is a banana dates um, oriental dessert kind of a fragrance. And since I have been traveling to Middle East since I was a little girl, this reminds me of my childhood, but it's also very sexy. So it's best of both worlds. I love it. If you love banana, if you love 
oriental desserts like you know impacted with dates and cinnamon and all that jazz then you you will die it's phenomenal so that is that and that is all from Navitus. I'm not gonna go back to it all right now um, of course since we are in niche I do have to mention that I don't want to ever be without these two and it's just true I know I'm like a broken record but I think most people are Baccarat Rouge and Oud Satin Mood from MFK now with Baccarat Rouge I could maybe like get rid of it just because I have so many great dupes however with Oud Satin Mood no I only have one dupe that's very good but it's in oil form so also not 100 percent this is this is life best oud ever vanilla violet rose just too good to not have it one of the best ouds in my life i love it so mfk oud satin mood again i would love to have baccarat rouge at all times However, I could skip on it because of those great Arabic brands. But with this one, I would not skip on. No, absolutely not. Speaking of oud, another phenomenal oud that's super sweet and a little bit Baccarat Rouge vibe, uh, Montal um, Arabian Stonka. This is sugar and oud and a little bit of rose and saffron and more sugar and more sugar and more sugar the best just the best i could even go as far and say that if i were to choose between baccarat and montal i would maybe choose montal but baccarat is good for every day you know i i like it as my day-to-day -day fragrance because it's so easy for me to wear it and this one is heavy heavy but this i would never skip phenomenal scent phenomenal if you love sweet and woody woody ooh this one is going to be your home run all right next one that i have here that i would never ever be without um this is like i don't need parfums de marley ojan i don't need uh, hermes ambre narguile i don't need killian's angel share i don't need any of that if i have this it's the best and that is breco fara from breco paris phenomenal 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 it's dates it's that you know cinnamon apple strudel bun kind of a feeling like with the others i mentioned the best oh, i love it too too good so that is that next um oh my god what should i go with next uh, okay tonka tonka my newest discovery the best tonka i've tried truly Tonka Extraordinaire from Experimental Perfume Club. This is wow. This is like amber, tonka, sesame, sesame, iris, all in one. Like people go crazy when they smell it. Like my boyfriend, my mom, my friend, everybody goes nuts. And it is actually a little bit nutty. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God phenomenal i i've had it for a week i'm gonna be honest here i've only had it for a week this is the newest scent that i'm showing you but i know already i'm gonna buy backups and backups and backups and backups and i will never run out because i cannot the best and the whole brand is like wow and i have a discount code with them so please just try it please just try it because it's too good not to okay the house of wood what about pop by far the best the house of wood there is another one that they just released um i don't remember what the name is and it has a stupid bottle but it's good however i still prefer this this is popcorn and slight floral actually one of um perfume reviewers i think it was sharida uh she compared this kind intentions florals to this and she is right the vanilla mixed with those white florals is very similar here um, the difference is that here you have you know more of a 
pouty, irisy, and um, like slightly marine beachy touch from the algae. And this goes in complete gourmand direction because it has popcorn, right? And caramel. So they are different, but there are some things that make them similar. But this, oh, good longevity. I can smell this on myself all day. I don't know what the deal was with other people. I heard it's not long lasting on them. On me, it's perfect. So yeah, I love what about pop and I don't ever want to be without it. Like ever, ever. All right. I have one fragrance from BDK and it was a hard choice because I thought about Passe and some others, but Velvet Tonka is like the best fragrance to mix and to wear alone during fall and winter. I love it. It's like cherry-esque almondy scent that's powdery and very vanillic. It is just too good and it has rose water to it. So it will give you that slight oriental effect as well, like an oriental dessert. I love it and on me it's ultra long lasting. That's also why it's on this list because the performance is 10 out of 10. So Velvet Tonka, here we go. All right, uh, the only fragrance from Jo Malone that I would never live with, I can't talk, that I would never live without, yeah, that's what I mean, <laughs> is um, Rose and White Mask Absolute. It's Oud and Rose again, like, here but this is like heavy dense vanilla one and this is the most beautiful rose that you will ever encounter and that's it the most beautiful rose to me dark but juicy mm. okay uh, next i have only one scent from soradora and that is because i have to cut down on this list i would have chosen more but the one that really stands out to me except from Except from the newest releases that are just to die for and I cannot wait to get them because I sniffed them already uh, But the ones that is just top of the top is Mandorla So this is a very heavy woody scent with again cherry almond um, oh. Phenomenal scent phenomenal scent one of the best ones on the dark side, you know what I mean? And great longevity with soradora my discount code is below right there okay so that is that just quickly i wouldn't be without the lina exclusive with the lina normal edp i can live without this one i cannot because of the performance and the fluffiness simple as that i love it moving on because i'm ridiculous um next i have two fragrances from inicio and this is like completely cut down list because I love so much more. But these two I cannot be without. First, Atomic Rose, the best sweet ambery rose, like Delina's Naughty Sister. So, and like, like I cannot be without it. Okay, simple as that. Phenomenal projection. Everything is just 10 out of 10. I love mixing this with Arabian Stonka, the best mixed ever ever and with baccarat as well um and the other one is the best animalic vanilla ever um absolute aphrodisiac nothing to say everything about it 10 out of 10 for me simple but works all right next one still not out but i have it so i'll show you breco another breco uh, first we had Farah, which is quite old in their collection. This is super new, not out yet, I think. Noches de Nerola, one of the best um, summer fragrances. Oh, I don't want to talk about it because you will get angry too. And I only have 50 mil, which gets me angry as well because I want to have a backup at least. So yeah, shitty situation. Anyways, um, Goldfield. With Goldfield, list super cut down because I would choose pretty much everything. Silky Woods, always have to have it. No chance not to have it. Uh, this bottle is pretty much gone. Um, so it's going to trash soon and it's really trashed. But I have a backup. Silky Woods, amazing. The most amazing Oud Vanilla, uh, but no rose, no rose here. 
uh, and the other one would be sunset hour beautiful candy like with some spiciness super good just phenomenal candy like scent so sunset hour stays with me forever now my favorite tuberose is unfortunately the expensive one and i'm here to blame because i haven't found any tuberose that gets me so crazy like this one bdk one is phenomenal boucheron phenomenal but this just kicks my butt the other way okay siberian rose from fragrance du bois i think it's because of the suede no i would spend that money and i would buy it again and i think this will be my wedding scent and i'm taking it for my first vacation with my love and it's gonna be so memorable so i have to have it there siberian rose fragrance du bois the best tuberose that had ever existed ever okay truly now my favorite marine salty fragrance niche wise um boho boco sea salt caramel the best the best phenomenal performance is just you you just have to try it okay this is caramel marine salty beachy very sweet you just have to try it but i would not be without it never uh -uh 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 -uh. Mm -mm. okay next one that i have is from room 1015 and again i love many fragrances from theirs but this one this is my perfect cleaner mask this is my perfect elegant scent okay and this is sonic flower you can get it with a discount of mine that's gonna be linked below as always but sonic flower guys it's musk ambrette it is oh the best cleaner fragrance super nice uh when it comes to performance my perfect everyday scent gorgeous gorgeous i love it too much too much now for my gourmand lovers uh i would never be without it i hesitated for years but i cannot be without it i'm gonna repurchase till i die lira from zezhov casa Murati. guys the best lemon vanilla that ever existed this is the the cookie of all cookies okay with good performance very good one now another gourmand montal ristretto intense cafe the ristretto version is my favorite because there's more coffee to it it is more um ambery it is deeper denser way more oily but it's so worth it ristretto intense cafe from montal and that's the end of montal no more montals here now i have a couple of fragrances from only nomad of course you have still my discount code guys you can still use it it's been a harsh battle because honestly i would choose all eight that i have but for some reason this one took the cake for me from the start and let's go with it nothing but sea and sky clean um slightly beachy airy but very long lasting musk it's sweet but inoffensive just phenomenal it is just phenomenal you have to try it try it please it's so good nothing but sea and sky uh, if you compare it to the other musky scent which is bohemian soul from the brand that i also love this one lasts way better on everybody so nothing but sea and sky it's the banger uh, that's the one that i love and now i have two tropical florals and it's very hard for me to choose because i have love at first sight and i have momo de die and this uh is more of a oh okay i'm gonna go with love at first sight okay it's hard but okay passion fruit lilac acacia you'll be in heaven trust me 
you'll be in heaven and very long lasting. So that's that. I'm gonna shut up about only nomad. I would choose more. I would have chosen more. I, I had it on the table already, but I was like, no, no, you cannot. It's too much. Okay. Uh, Theo Cabanel, uh, Cafe Cabanel, cult favorite. Uh, but okay, I it would be very hard to live without it. However, it would be even harder to live without Ulala. Not hyped up at all, but this is my favorite from the brand. Uh, Peau Salé I love as well, but this, the best. It's nutty, it's powdery, it's like irisy. And then when it dries down, it smells like a flipping cake. You smell like a cake and you, that scent lingers everywhere, everywhere. Pe people go crazy with this. So try it. I don't have discount code with Theo, but Oh la la is oh, to die for. So is Cafe Cabanel. Beautiful, spicier of a coffee vanilla scent. Love them both. Uh, then Amber. I think one of the best Ambers, except from Farah. Um, it would be Amouage material. And to me, even though I don't really love the bottle color, this is for me the safest and the best Amouage ever. Uh, for me, it's way safer than the, the garden collection. It's way safer than anything, than Honor Woman. This is the best amber, vanilla, balsamic, resinous fragrance for a woman. You know, because a lot of ambers do lean quite masculine and this one to me doesn't. Um, it's just phenomenal. I love it. Oh yes very balsamic it will give you oriental vibes for sure so and you know what i'm super happy and super pumped up because this brand comes from oman and i'm going to oman soon so i think i have to take this with me as well yes okay i'll do that thank you for telling me to do it i i i'm so grateful okay so that is material um, now, just quickly mention, I truly cannot live without it. I know people trash it, bash it, but to me, it's so good. Uh, love, don't be shy from Killian. Just quickly telling you that, yes, it would be on my to die list or to die for. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot be without it. Sorry. Now, two fragrances from... Byron, these are two best ones, like two that are the best. I would not be without them ever. The first one is Mula Mula, the original. Um, I have the Rouge Extreme coming my way, but it's not as good as the original in my opinion. Mula Mula, the best caramel fruity oud. Uh, good if you don't really love Herba Pura, Herba Oud, Herba Magica. I think you might still love this because it's the case with me. And the other one that's even better for me, like this is my dream scent, truly my dream scent. Uh, the Chronic Rouge Extreme. Phenomenal longevity and it's the most girly, plush, yet sexy fragrance that I have. I love it. It smells like a Barbie, if a, you know, like the best Barbie ever. I love it. Uh, and men will love it on you, I, I can assure you. Okay, uh, two more, just two more. I think I'm way over 30 now, am I, right? Uh, Viva Amor, Dark Indulgence. And Viva Amor, I do have a discount code. I think it's even 20%, not even 10, it's 20% for Viva Amor. Dark Indulgence, this is the best and the most realistic um, orange and chocolate scent. Gourmand of all gourmands phenomenal it's so orangey like it makes your mouth water it's so good and very long lasting and um it's you know it's just as good as symphonium from zajov but it's a fraction of a price i don't think it's even hundred dollars yeah it's just too good to be true so well made nobody talks about it i feel like dark indulgence from viva more try it try it if you love gourmand if you love chocolate if you love beast mode 
Um, and okay, for my nutty fragrance, apart from Ulala, I would say I would also adore to have at all times Ultimate Aphrodisiac, also from Viva More. They have like the best gourmands. And this has been created by Sydney Lancessa, just like Venom of Love. But this one is completely different. It's like sesame, nutty, vanillic scent. And that's pretty much it about it. But that's what also makes you um, mix easier with other scents. This one, right? So good. So good. It is slightly doughy, like vanilla doughy a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? But it's so well done. So well done. I love it. Love Ultimate Aphrodisiac and Dark Indulgence. These are my two favorites from Viva More. Okay, and last two ones. Kana Barcelona. I have a discount code for Kana. And again, I would have chosen so much more. So much more, but I only have two. That was my limit for a brand, as you can see. Like, only two from a brand. Uh, so the first one is Marbella. The best fruity aquatic fresh scent a little bit like Versace bright crystal if you like that you will love this but this is way more long lasting so Marbella amaze balls and the other one that it's too good to be true again the best pomegranate super moon from Kana I was thinking about including Soleil Passion from Mikelev but I think this one this one is just more me. It's a little bit more sporty, a little bit less sweet, and it lasts for hours. So I love this. Super Moon and Marbella are my two choices from Cana Barcelona. And I think this is it. Yes, I went through it. I'm proud. Okay, guys, this was a ridiculous video, but I truly hope you enjoy it. These are the ones that from niche I would never get rid of. Like, never, never. I love them like you see I'm already getting anxious like from a photo of it I love them too much these are my babies there's more but I tried to cut down okay so yeah that is it I love you and let me know what is your like to die for niche scent or scent or massive list you can also put that in I love you and see you in the next one bye